bankruptcy proceedings. Uh, their uh, valuable assets would be reallocated to other holders, and those holders would manage them, we hope, in a more intelligent and responsible way, this time around learning that they had better do due diligence if they don't want to preside over a new bankruptcy down the line. Uh, what we're, we're doing now is creating uh, what uh, economists call moral hazard. Uh, we're, we're teaching people the lesson that if they take a big risk, and it works out, they will profit highly. But if they take a big risk and it doesn't work out, then the taxpayers will bail them out. Uh, this is a very one-sided uh, uh, incentive that is created for people. It creates an uh, incentive for people to undertake uh, projects and measures that they would never undertake if they had to fear the consequences of being themselves responsible for failure down the line. So if we did nothing, there would be a lot of rearrangements because during the boom uh, that was brought about by a variety of government measures, including a very easy money policy by the Federal Reserve System earlier in this decade, uh, a lot of resources were put into projects that are not sustainable in the free market. They're sustainable only if eventually propped up or bailed out by the taxpayers. And that's what's happening now. Uh, but it's not the case that the incumbents in today's market, the people who now operate firms or enterprises or projects, uh, are, are the ones that, that ought to be kept going. Uh, uh, the market system is a system that continually reallocates control of resources. Those people who please consumers and make profits gain control over more resources. People want to invest in those companies. People want to work for them. Uh, those companies that do not please consumers, uh, that are badly managed, that do not control their costs, those people get into trouble and go bankrupt and the assets are taken away from their control and they pass into other hands that, that will manage them more effectively. This is the market system. It's a dynamic system. It's a system for allocating and continually reallocating the economy's resources. That's why we're rich today. If we tried to prop up the economy of 1800 or 1900, we would be as poor as our forebears were. But because we allowed markets to work so that they, they were able to reallocate resources, so that people were in a position to go bankrupt, had to take responsibility for their own bankruptcy, we had economic progress in this country. If we, if we remove those responsibilities, then we're going to end up in a situation <coughs> economic stasis. The dynamism will be crushed out of the system because we've created a system uh, that will not uh, behave itself uh, subject to competition and individual responsibility. And finally, in 30 seconds or less, John Singleton of Denver, Colorado wants to know, in your view, who is the greatest economist of the 20th century? Uh, in my view, Ludwig von Mises was uh, far and away the greatest economist of the 20th century. Uh, besides Mises' own work, uh, which I highly recommend, uh, all of it's still very much alive, although it goes back almost a century. There's a wonderful biography by uh, Guido Hussmann uh, called Mises, The Last Night of Liberalism, and uh, that's a great book, and I highly recommend uh, Hussmann's book. Robert Higgs has been our guest here on In-Depth for the last three hours. Now, we've barely scratched the surface. We haven't even had a chance to look at some of the, the uh, books that you've edited and what they're about. But very quickly, if you want to know more about Robert Higgs, go to independent.org. That is the website of the Independent Institute, of which he edits this journal, the Independent Review, right here on top of the pile. And very briefly, here are his, some of his books, Against Leviathan, Government, Power, and a Free Society, Neither Liberty Nor Safety, Fear, Ideology, and the Growth of Government, Crisis and Leviathan, Critical Episodes in the Growth of American Government, Depression, War, and Cold War, Studies in Political Economy, and Resurgence of the Warfare State, The Crisis Since 9-11. Robert Higgs, thank you for being on Book TV's In Depth. Thank you for inviting me. It's been a pleasure. And our website, booktv.org. You can find out the schedule and when this will be re-airing, and you'll be able to watch it online also. Thanks for being with us.
We offer you another chance to view in-depth with Robert Higgs, Senior Fellow in Political Economy at the 